This is a homily for 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B, 2024. The healing of a woman suffering from hemorrhage and the bringing back to life Jairus' daughter underlines the fact of faith being the main condition for one to receive healing. When reading and meditating on this passage in the Gospel, one realizes the complementarity of the two miracles. Again, the people involved in these two intertwined miracles reveals to some extent the three main important stages of faith that we are invited to go through as Christians of today. Just to mention it, the faith of the crowd, the faith of the woman suffering from hemorrhage, and lastly, the faith of Jairus shows us some stages of faith because they react differently when they meet Jesus Christ, who was among them. In a little while, we shall deepen and explain precisely these three types of faith or stages of faith in our Christian life today. In the first reading, the author of the Book of Wisdom reminds us some realities about death. This death is opposed to life, and it came as a result of sin. Therefore, sin makes man spiritually dead. God created us in his own image and likeness that is immortality, but sin brings death. Therefore, God sent us his son so that he may save us because he wants us to have what we call eternal life, life without end. Turning to the gospel passage of today, the two miracles can be understood in three parts. One, Jairus meets Jesus, two, healing of a woman suffering from hemorrhage, and lastly, bringing back to life Jairus' daughter. As a matter of fact, these two stories, as narrated by Mark, has two main common elements among them. One, number 12. The number that shows completeness, such as the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ, and the 12 months of a year. The woman healed suffered for 12 years while Jairus' daughter fell sick at the age of 12 years. This number indicates the total sufferings that the two underwent, more particularly a woman who was suffering from hemorrhage. Another element that is crucial also that forms even the object of reflection for this Sunday is faith. Indeed, faith as experienced by these different characters in the Gospel passage shows us that there are three main stages or types or kinds of faith in our Christian life today. The first one, we can say the initial faith. The second one, progressive faith. And the third one, accomplished faith. Let us begin with the initial faith. This kind of faith is found among the crowd that was around Jesus Christ. Why do I say so? Because by following him and running after him, the crowds show some kind of trust and faith in him, but with the intention of just to listen to him, to see him talk, and to pass some time with him. In fact, it is clearly shown when a woman who touched Jesus' cloak and got healed. However, there is a possibility that many people from the crowd touched him, but they were not healed. Perhaps when you come to church, just to listen and receive Holy Communion, or just being there without having any personal relationship with Christ, then your faith could be at the initial stage. The second stage of 
faith we can say is progressive faith. This type of faith is portrayed by the woman healed from hemorrhage. Despite the crowd and her social status as a woman who is impure because of her sickness, she courageously touched Christ's clock and she was healed because she had faith. In fact, it was a strong faith for that matter. Moreover, she wants to remain unknown because she simply needed healing. However, Jesus announces that someone touched him and the woman comes forward. In this case, Jesus wants to strengthen her faith by making her to move from the initial stage to more clear and assured faith. From what Jesus Christ says to her, we can conclude or firmly say that faith makes one to have life or healing and salvation. Do we have this kind of faith in our life today? Finally, accomplished faith. This is represented by Jairus, the synagogue official and a father to the sick daughter. Jairus came to Jesus so that his daughter may be healed. In fact, the way he comes on his knees when he meets Jesus shows us that Jairus had a great faith in Christ. Even before arrival at his house, he receives the bad news that his daughter had died. But Jesus tells him, do not be afraid, believe. And indeed, he believed. It is not enough to just believe, but to remain in that belief like Jairus. Jairus asked for healing, but Christ gave him more than that, the resurrection of his daughter. When we believe and remain faithful, we receive more than what we expected. Hence, Jairus had faith and his faith was accomplished by having her daughter come back to life. Besides, the challenges encountered by Jairus, such as discouragement from his family members who came to announce the death of his daughter, the crowd that was around Jesus, but Jairus, continued his journey to meet Jesus Christ. Upon arrival at Jairus' home, the people were crying and making fun that why disturb Christ and the girl is already dead. In the eyes of Jesus Christ, the daughter was asleep. But in the eyes of the crowd, she was dead and no point of return. What is impossible to man is possible to God. Christ's power does not stop at the doorstep of death, but it goes beyond that such that he made Jairus' daughter to come back to life. On this 13th Sunday of Ordinary Time Year B 2024, the three stages of faith are important and complementary. May Christ help us to progressively move from the initial stage to the accomplished stage of life. Do not be afraid, but believe. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday.